So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of Blair Witch. This is now part three in the series and guys, if you haven't seen the previous two, what the freak are you doing here? Go on back. Our adventure is now beginning to take us deep into the woodlands of Burkittsville. We're still on the search for a missing boy and we're still also with Bullet. Now listen guys, I would be lying if I said I haven't had several of these moments so far. This game keeps making Bullet disappear from my side for a little while before reappearing and listen man, at the moment they take him away for good, uninstall. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Also guys, I'm just gonna show you, like look, you want the next episode soon? Let's go ahead and smash this goal, okay? What is good my fellow gamers? Welcome back to another delightful episode of Blair Witch. We have gone on a dope adventure, me and my dog Bullet right now, and we stumbled across this crazy abandoned land, so let me go ahead and search this. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the crappy music, by the way. So, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Blair Witch. Now, we progressed to this point right here. We went ahead and found a sawmill, and I think the current objective is to get... Bro, I'm talking, can you not? Bullet, stop, I've warned you now. Don't get... Bullet! The main shit looks promising. Uh -huh. There's some spare parts left. Exactly. This is what we got to in the last episode, guys. So we've got to get this device over here working. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but there's quite a few components that are adding towards this thing. Looks like we need both one of the valves to turn, and I think also this pipe Steam's here. Escaping. Yeah. The pressure's not going to build up. Exactly. So we need to find ourselves we a need pipe. To patch it up somehow. As he's saying right Come now. On, buddy. So we've got to make our way then over to the maintenance shed. We kind of got to this point here. Wait. Oh, this. Of course. We turn the lever. We can then go on down to campsite B. But. I see a red light there. We need to find the maintenance shed. That is one of the most important things we need so far. So if I pull this, my dude, do I pull the lever further to the left or does the animation complete for itself? Yeah, that's how we do things. And that changes the track over. So now we get back on this good old stuff and we go ahead and go down this. Bullet! Come on, buddy. Get nice and comfy. Look, sitting tight already. So I think all we got to do then is pretty much drop this, lift the handbrake, and then we pretty much just have to hold this guy forward, I think. Just like so. So we can stop looking at that. But we've got to try and get them towards the maintenance camp. That's what that says. That says camp. Ah! Woo! Okay. Keep your eyes peeled. All right. My dude yawning like he's pulled right now. Okay. To the light, so let's buddy. have a sec. Should be safer this way. Go. I think we're pretty much good. Yo, slam that handbrake on right there. So maintenance shed here. Let's get this going. So, okay. So shit. still standing. I mean, it should be. You would like to hope so, right? But where exactly does it exist? In this blackened woods, man. I don't want to go through there. Yo, bullet, you want to go to the shed for me? Like, yo, good boy. Guys, my butt cheeks are actually clenching right now. <gasps> it's a good job my butt cheeks were clenched. I thought I had some stuff falling. Wait, there's multiple. One there. One there, too. Go, go. Wait, what the heck? Get it, get it, get it. Where exactly are they? I'll try and find them, try and find them real quick. Yo, I gotta go back to bullet. Bullet, where are you? Where are you, my dude? Oh, God. What the freak? I can't find. There he is. Okay. There he goes. I saw it move. Right there, right there. The freak was that? Wait, my controller's been vibrating. <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, sound is quiet and bullets sniff in the air. You know, I think that means we are pretty much all good. All right, come on, bullet, let's pick up the pace. Pull him along as well. Maintenance shed, barely standing also. Let's get in this thing real quick. So, that door is sealed up. Got a map right here, showing exactly our location. Before we move that, hold up, we got a note right here. Name, it's got like the quantity of stuff. So, Robert, make an order for more valves. Camp B took the last one for their steam donkey. Now we're out of spares stand. So, we're probably gonna go then to campsite B also. Probably makes sense. Mm, we should definitely be hasty, dude. I don't even know what's holding this thing up by this point. It's like we won't be getting in through here. Definitely not. I mean, could we crouch, dude? Nope. Bullet, what the freak do you see, my dude? He keeps, like, fixating towards this direction here. Is there maybe a collectible or something like that? Not sure. All right, let's inspect the outside of this place here. You see, we've got, like, this lifted up zone there. Okay, there is a small crawl through space. Fortunately, collapsing through at the perfect point. Wait, do we gotta send Bullet through? It's worse off for him. There's no way we can get through that, right? Go That's ahead. how we gotta do it then. Let's see. Let's gonna slip on through. Please be nothing coming through now. You know what to do, bullet. Just get the pressure valve. Let's get straight back out. Good boy. Now bring it to pop. Come on, my dude. Look at this guy, man. One down, one to go. Uh-huh. The next one's at campsite B. So, alright. Any monsters see me taking this stuff? Because now it's mine, okay? If you dare try anything, I got a torch. Also, ah, guys, look. Dog. Well, it does something. You know exactly how we gotta treat the boy. Keeping that dude in tip-top shape, man. You know how we gotta do things. So, let's see on the other side here. For the most part, claps rubble. Oh, wait, hold up. There's something there. What is that? It's a picture. Who is this one? Sergius. There's also something here. Another dog tag. Who's this God. one? Marley Oliver. I'm so sorry. So we're still having these delusions. It seems to be tying a lot into some kind of like PTSD that we experienced as a soldier. That's what I really feel from this then. All right, bullet. Come here. Let's get back now to the train. We got to go over to campsite B. Let's find the second valve. All right. Let's release the handbrake. So we go now over to campsite B. Keep our eyes peeled for anything that might be lurking in the woods with us. I hear something right there. 
Let me speed up train. Can this speed up, by the way? Right, campsite B point in this direction here, so let's start to slow this thing down a little bit. And we're gonna hit the handbrake. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. Let me hit this. Maybe I've got to actually change the direction right now. Good enough, buddy. Yeah, maybe we are. So, does that lead maybe back to the point where we was before? So when we're done here, we go straight ahead. I'm starting to think maybe that's the best bet. Oh, okay. Here we go. Catherine, see where Bullet looks. Bullet! There's monsters nearby. Tell us where they're at. Bullet is not seeing anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now he's... He's back there. Watch Bullet. Watch Bullet the whole time. Where's he going? Where's he going? He's looking over there. Right behind that tree. Yeah, look, you focus on Bullet, my dude. He knows exactly where they're at. So, where's he looking? Where's he looking? I don't see it. Uh, wait, right there, right there. Got it, got it, got it. I think there's just the one. I saw it go over here somewhere, right? Whoa! Right in front of us there. Let's see, let's see. Where's Bullet? Where's Bullet? What's he looking at? What's he looking at? He's looking over there somewhere. There it is! Ooh. I think we might be all good, man. That will be it nicely done. You see that thing zoom straight in front of us? I... What? Whoa. Okay. Ambience of the forest picking up. Bullet! Bullet! Come on, my dude. Let's get this done. I don't want to hang around whatsoever right now. I don't know if we should be using the... Wait. Maybe we should be using the car for this. I don't know if I should be going on foot. This doesn't seem right. Wait, but this is in the way, so I can't. We have to go on foot. It's the only way to campsite B. Okay, we're coming up to something here. It's a rusted old shed right there. Cracking. Breaking up. Nothing we can operate within that thing. Let's see. Maybe if we tell Bullet to seek, maybe he'll find Deal. something. So, get him coming here. Okay, seek. See what he can find. Whilst he's doing that, see if we can find anything on our own. Which we probably can't because dogs are the best. Alright, he's calling us over here somewhere. Let's try and get around these logs. Damn it, don't you hate it when there's like a 20 centimeter log and you can't get over it? Oh, he's hopping up over here. Ooh, he brought us straight over to exactly where we're going to be, maybe. Where's this tool? So we don't need that. Wait, what do we need, buddy? What are you trying to draw us towards? Wait, maybe this is the way we've got to go. Look, this kind of takes us up to another level. Before we go and do that, let me just check around here some more. There's also this way too. In terms of any other items we can find though, I don't see anything. I have some paperwork here. This will be important, right? Counseling. So, background summary and reasons for referral. Patient brought in by parents due to extreme panic attacks, insomnia, and sleepwalking after a traumatic experience. I advised three th therapeutic sessions per week. During a preliminary interview, I was able to determine the following. The patient actively avoids recalling the event. He experiences vivid nightmares since the event's possible coping mechanism. Uh, he exhibits emotional numbness, irrational aggression, and disassociation to the event. Overall, he is very nervous. Possible diagnosis anxiety neurosis. I got a feeling that's- Why was there a picture of a dog with blood bleeding out of his stomach right there? If this game goes the direction I think it is, I'm about to- Given the choice of this way here or this way, Bullet is drawing us to this way. So this has got to be the Come right here. way, okay? Let's call him and see what he does. Does he continually lead us this way? He stares blankly. What's wrong, boy? What are you looking at? I don't see anything. Maybe we gotta go the other way? I'm not sure. I mean, he seems to be whimpering. What about if we pet him? You know, give him some attention? Perhaps this is exactly what he needs and this yeah, is it. Yeah, good dog. Take care of the dog, man. Give him all the love and attention he needs right now. Rolling over on his belly, even in the most traumatic scenarios. Here we go. Bullet, you can stop sitting there now, man. Come on, let's go. He's just still so stationary. He will not follow. I guess I gotta go without him on this occasion then. Just, he won't be encouraged to follow unless maybe he's coming now. Nope. He's just not following. Okay. Guess I'll do this alone then. Maybe that's for the best or something like that. Where are we even headed right now? It looks like a junkyard or something, right? Another one of the toads on the creeps. This one's more developed. It's got like vines wrapping around it. Almost looks like something from the, uh, what do you call that thing? It reminds me of something from Call of Cthulhu with the tentacles and such. Now, bullet. Come on. He will not follow no matter what I do. I guess I do this alone. I've got to assume that. Now it takes us over here. Where? Is this taking me? This has to be progression, right? This looks like more of a worn down version of the same thing we saw before. So let's Someone's observe. Barely holding up. Uh huh. Let's see if there's anything to salvage. Yeah. Time has not been kind to this machine right here. Take a quick peek around this thing. So this the valve we need. Great stuff. So we also now need ourselves a pipe. I think that was another thing to stop the steam escaping. Then that's everything we pretty much need. And I did see a warehouse down here somewhere. Let's just hope it's got what we want. Let's have a wrench there. We don't need that. Um, there's something down here. Is that another dog ta Another one? Oh my goodness. Forest. God damn it. Still with the delusions about this crap. Dang. Right, let's check this paperwork here then. Apparently inside of the dumpster. When I took the camera from that old fool, it was full of senselessness chatter. But I saw it. I saw the things it could really do. Through it, I can look into the darkness and see the creatures that lurk there without being seen. Through it, I can see the things that escape my eyes. And through it, I can gaze back into the things I have done. And it will not let me forget. Creepy stuff. Clearly written probably by the antagonist of this adventure as well. Now, uh, where the freak that piper, huh? Hey, there's bullet coming along. Good stuff. So I can't find anything more from this wreckage. Maybe if Bullet can come along, let me see. My dude's smart enough to climb along this log. Let's see if maybe he can seek something. We may have missed a tape around here or the metal pipe, which is exactly 
what we need. That's the only thing I don't got now to get this machine running. Nothing, eh? Okay, so I got him to seek. He found nothing, so that's gonna mean that maybe there's nothing more we can find around here. Because that's what I'm guessing. Okay, so I just searched as well around this shed at the bottom here. Nothing turned up as a result. So we've checked both of these sites. There's only one thing we're looking for, which is that metal pipe. Maybe I missed it at the very starting area. I'm really sure. Perhaps I can find it on the route back. Or maybe it lies somewhere around here, come to think of it. Not sure I investigate this fully. Okay, hold up. There's this workstation here. This might be exactly what we're looking for. Let's take a look. Oh, wait. This is back at the beginning, right? This is where we started this mess. We went that way, and this led us all the way back around. All right, got Bullet to search one more time. He's just simply smelling the ground. I think that means one thing. Let's find out. Still looking. Nothing, eh? No, there's nothing more around here. So, I guess we get back now to the train car. Maybe we should move back. I guess I can always return if I really need to. Ideally, I don't have to. That's the way this game works. Oh, right, guys, we're gonna get this moving anyway. Oh, no, 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 go back. Oh. Woo, that was close. That was real close. So, how can we go straight ahead? Because we're turning down, I missed it. Right there, okay. And there we go. Okay, here we go. Now, is this the same bridge we saw before, right? So we kind of assume it is. So let's see on the side there. No, something most likely, but already rebelling. I gotta get through this. Through the tunnel just fine. This might lead back to the same campus before then. So it's almost like this train track leads in a circular motion around and around. Which is fine. Because that saves us a lot of time to make our way back here. Back at the sawmill we are then. Let's go ahead and stop this guy. Yeah, pretty poor with the stopping. Gonna be real, but we're all good. Now, let's try and equip some of this stuff then. Let's see what we can get working from what we have. First of all, we pop this guy in here now. Oh, that's what that was for. I thought we needed like a pipe or something. That means we have everything necessary then to get this going. But how do we get the fire going, right? There's a lot of wood on the floor. I'm not sure if we have a lighter, but I would assume we do. First off, let's try and actually turn this valve a bit, so, like so. Yeah, without the fire, nothing's gonna happen, of course. Wait, what's I hate this down when here? people do that. <laughs> what, littering? <laughs> My guy with his good morals still, I guess. Uh, wait, there's something down here I missed. Another photo, maybe? This again. Arcadius. Okay. Also, dumbbell. Wait, so, how do we get this fire going in the first place? Are there specific logs that we find around here? A specific way, maybe, to start the fire? Because it's not get- Wait, 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 wait. If I get the tape back out, I rewind it to a point where the flame's moving, right? Okay. I can hear it in the back already, so stop that up there. Look at- Dude, you've just got to use your head in these scenarios, so we leave that, I think, to do its thing. Now let's start turning this, and we need it in the green. So, there we go. The pressure. Okay. Why is that log moving in the back? I- I hope that's not what I really do. That's looking good, that's looking good. So, start to reduce the pressure at 75, let's say. Wait, is there no middle ground for this? It, like, always moves between. So, maybe I kind of balance it. So, let me go a little bit over, then I'll back up, okay? Now, whilst it's doing that, let me try and put the fire out, okay? Let's, I... Wait, I can't? Unless that's all we needed to do, because now we can see that that's all solved. So, I may as well turn it off. I suppose we'll let that do its thing. We've got access through. So that was pulling the log out of the way. That explains that. So with that done, all we've got to do is back this guy up, change the direction of the way we can move this little cart, and we've got a brand new way to explore. So yeah, one thing to do, let's get this done. Yeah. <laughs> We're heading to the sawmill, guys. We are heading to the sawmill. I think I was calling that the sawmill naively. Definitely wasn't that. So where the monsters are, huh? Come on. We've got... Hang on, Forrest, hold up. Complete sound change. Why do I feel good about this? I feel like I should be scared. You know, that was a kind of nice shimmer. Um, forest very bland. We've seen this looping way as well many a times. Why does this signify something different? Okay. Ooh, wait, the day is just beginning again. We've got that dusky fog. All right. Wallet yawning too. We all over soon, buddy. We all over soon. Just kidding, it won't ready, guys. We're screwed right now. Okay, I need help right Where are we even going to? I don't understand the change in scenery. Because if it's daytime, that means there are no threats. So in theory, I could literally go ahead and do that. I don't have to worry. Oh, wait. Oh, I see those little things, dude. Flashlight back out. Guys, keep your freaking distance, all right? Coming through. Yeah, good luck taking down me right now, suckers. Wait. Can they do it? Uh... I'm a little confused. Oh boy. Oh boy, he's coming up close. But he backed off. I don't like him either. Mm -hmm. We'll be out of here soon. Yeah, dude, he's not scared. He's bored. Guys, this is an experience that we just watch. Now this... The... Oh, gosh! He's far enough across. Come on, come on, come on! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Still moving through. Yeah. Come on! Look at these overgrown dust bunnies right there, man. 
Come on, come on! About to go downhill. That would help out a lot. Oh! Light him with this. They are literally trying to take us down. There's nothing I can do to stop this either. We gotta be close, dude. That looks like that's the crossing right there. Stay back. Stay the freak back. Maybe they're afraid of the light too. Maybe. Further. We're okay. Nothing can get us right now, right? We're crossing this. These things can't come across, dude. Damn. Now, if this bridge gives way, dude. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's like top speed. Come on. Very still. And the movement of a dog. Like triggering this thing to break. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. Keep going. We're grinding to the slowest halt. Literally over the edge. You alright, buddy? Oh, man. The dog is good. Okay, we get the flashlight back. I don't trust this forest at all. Look how rickety this thing is, man. We made it. This thing just snaps up, dude. We get signal back again. Let's check our messages. So we got a new voicemail at 11.29. I don't know if that's from today, but call history. Let's see. It's a new voice message. You Let's call it. No. New messages. Bro, I thought I was popular in this life. Let's try these channels a second. Okay, no one on that one. Let's try channel two. Tell it's over. Nothing again. Try this one quickly, quickly. Can anyone hear me? No one's picking up, dude. Okay, this music speaks urgency. We gotta move on foot. But I said before, okay, now I get people calling me. I just had my phone in my hand right now. Answer yeah. it. Um. Ellis, what's going on? Are you okay? Sure. I, um, yeah, no, no, it's nothing. Uh, and everything. Yeah, I, I know I'm not making any sense right now, but that's the thing. Uh, I think I'm starting to lose it, Jess. I, I see things, and I don't even know if they're real or not. I, I, I don't know which is worse. Mm -hmm. God damn it, Ellis. I, I can't do this again. Dang. I'm sorry, but I can't. Jess, please. I need you. That awkward sound cut, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> you need help, Ellis. I tried to be there for you. I really did. But you keep pushing me away. Keep going deeper and deeper. Yep. Jess. No, Ellis. I'm sorry, but... I, I won't let you drag me down with you. Hang on, Liz. What did you do last time, you know? God damn it. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll call you later. Okay. Yeah, whatever happened with Alice, though? We found the paper. That was definitely hitting towards us having some kind of, uh, I guess, bad flashback. Listen, whatever we said to Jess, or what happened, it was clearly just that little bit too much. She, as a result, does not want to experience what she did again. Let's move through this. Look at this marshland, though. It's falling down. Look. Go ahead and do your thing, all right? All right, cool. Well done. Yeah, this is a sawmill right here, though. What? That's a bit ghosty. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. What are you looking at, buddy? Camera. I missed that. Wait, this isn't a camera. My guy hates littering so much right now. It's kind of cool. This is it. It's cool to experience with Alice. The place we were looking for. It is. This is the sawmill. What the freak was that? Was that me walking on this? Hold up. Okay, it wasn't that. It's something under the logs. Dude, it sounds like something is like bubbling under there, you know, breathing. I don't like that. So it's power right now. Let's crank this guy. And again, maybe? There you go. Someone's there. Wait, where are you looking? What do you mean someone's there? Wait, where? I don't know where he was referring to. I'm a bit nervous right now. Well, it's back in there. So, hold up, guest. I'm gonna check this other place here. What is it? Padlock. I guess we're not gonna find out. Mm-hmm. At least not yet. Locked. That's all locked up as well. Here. You can barely see through. Tinted glass shielding our view a lot. Yeah, there's nowhere else we can go, guys. We I've got to go in here. Let me. I can close the door. Now I'll reopen it because that's just the type of guy I am. I don't like this. Furnace lit already. Hold on. What's this? What's this? What's this? This might refer to something. It's old, not abandoned. Mm-hmm. Someone lives here. And we're having the pictures refile a raffle. I'm not sure how you pronounce that name, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry to any raffles out there. Let's go back. Blinking light. I think more here. What is the significance, though? I can't take anything. And bullets just roaming around with us. Oh, wait, there's something here. What is this? A tape. Yeah, definitely watch this. What does this one show us? The clue. Right, let's get this playing. Here we go. Wait, no, I've seen this one so many times. The chase? Hang on. We're about to see two characters literally. Whoa, he's trying to flee him. Look, this might have been the guy who was working here before. My man documenting this for his vlog as well. He tried to attack him. It's like he enjoys the thrill of the fight. He runs away. Okay, so we get to a point where that door's open, right, maybe? Okay, we hear the door blast open. Watch the rest of the tape. Let's see. He just goes hunting for him. Look at this guy. This is cat and mouse, and it's a fun game for him, right? So I'm going to pause it there with the other door open also. 
Okay, there we go. So this is the chase then. Oh boy, I sure hope I didn't bring the other guy back. That would kind of suck, right? I'm gonna open both of these. Let me see. So that door is at least open. I don't know where I escaped from unless he got maybe into the back room there. We've got bullets standing shh, already. Shh, shh. Quiet boy, we're not alone here. We're not. Listen, we tread so. so here we go. We're in. What is this? It's like a descending portion right there. No idea what that's about. Might be an escape route. So he went into that back room. There is someone above us right now. Blood dripping also. This is really freaking me out. I've literally got shivers from this. Dude, I am treading so lightly. I'm scared to do anything else. Let's go in this back room here. I don't want anything to trigger it. Okay, we're good. More oh, budge. Crap, it must be because of what we saw in the tape. We're changing the stuff that's going on. The typewriter. Check these drawers now. Stand up. Open all three before we can do anything else. Okay, so this one here. 3324. That's the code for the lock that we see. Another picture of another victim here. Who is this one? Barbara. Oh man, it's the strangest things. If that wasn't enough. Also here too. A letter. I saw it. Not a witch or a monster, but a man. A man carrying the pelt of a skinned human. He saw me and now he's coming. Carver. That must be from the guy that we saw fleeing him. 3, 3. That one says it's 2, 4. Bullets so eager to get through. What do you smell, huh, bud? Just hold up. I'm gonna pet my guy before. Yeah, I need comfort, as does he. Okay, I guess it was just a compliment. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oof. I don't like this. We've heard someone up here. And the moment this door opens, that's it. No advanced peaks either. Let's go, dude. That's it. Run in, run in. Huh? Oh, close. Uh. Bro. Why am I in a hospital ward right now? My guy sounds like he's struggling. It sounds like a soldier, right? With a mask. Pull it back. Let me see. Oh gosh. Jesus. Yo. That's a flesh wound. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Maybe he can. Some of those are defense wounds. Mm -hmm. Multiple cuts. Probably a long blade. The yeah. blood's still fresh. It is. Badly mutilated. Gosh. So what? Let me just. Let me just take that from you, buddy. Yeah, rub your corpse. You know, just before you. Again, with the gunshot flashbacks. <gasps> oh, here we what? go. What? How? Wait, Jesus who? Christ! What it's the, the guy! Oh boy. Oh boy. So where do we go now, huh? We literally just came up here. Just looking at Carver. Can we check him one more time? Chance. The sun went right into the collarbone. Pulled him in and in his face. Yeah, that's probably one way to say things. We've got a tape too, guys. I wanna watch it. The murder. Oh boy. Drop the knife or I'll shoot you. He had a gun. Did he shoot him? Not sure what happened. Hold up. That's our man! We see him for once. It's a struggle. He won the- You can hear on the back things changing. Oh my gosh. And that was a GG right there. Takes the camera. What are you gonna show us, huh? And I think... Just walks out with the camera in hand. Hang on, something's changed right now. Look at this, the saw blade- Yo, do I wanna leave his body right there? Oh, we got everything up and running, right? That's kind of cool. So, let's see. Bullet. It's gotta be down here somewhere, right? Wait, what? What do we see? Wait, what did I see? I'm not sure. Hold up, let me go in here. This is now running. So we're seeing all these pipes turn. What does this change? Do we just get out of here? I'm not sure. Look at this, we go back in here. We see elements, look. Someone was looking about the witch all within this cavern. They were obsessed with it by the looks. Studying it, making notes. Maybe Carver was. Maybe that's what brought the guy to him. Hold up. Bullet. Where's Bullet at? He's run ahead. Yo, there's a gun. No, he's got a bullet. This man better be ready to catch him. Dude, look, he's just looking at my dog. Uh, you dare touch a bullet. Don't do a single you, thing. You killed Lanny. Did you see her? He's playing with the dog. That better be a good sign. Into their eyes. Did you see her? Now where's Peter? What have you done to him? It's not time yet. This is cool. Dude. Stop messing with me or, or what? You kill me. Whoa! You're far too weak. Too scared. Your hands are trembling. This is really cool, man. Oh my gosh, we just chinned the dude. Bad idea. This dude gets a thrill from pain. God. We shouldn't have challenged him. We're pinned down just like that, you know? I don't even know what the freak he's doing to us. He's smiling my like, head or something? Boy will die. He has to die. 
Such is your will. No fight! This ain't good. This man has us completely pinned down. Alright, we're waking back up. Was that even real? It had to have been, right? And where is Bullet? That's all I literally care about. Where is my do- He's dragging me by the sole of my foot right now. Where's he taking me? You see, this man knows the forest better than anyone, and it seems like he's almost working with the witch, if she even exists. It seems like this guy is the main antagonist, though, for this adventure. This man is clearly given in, though, to the forest and the voices within it. So he's basically working and acting their forces. What are you doing here, Private? The flashback. It was me, sir. What was? Elijah Five. I was the point man, sir. What are you trying to say, soldier? I let those men into the ambush, sir. What? So Ellis messed up. Nine injured. Six dead. Six grieving widows. Nine orphan children. One negligent soldier. He should have been court martialed. That's what happened then. I couldn't stay. Not after that. It wasn't your fault, Ellis. So Jess tried to help us through this mess, but we wouldn't listen, right? We were too deep in our own head. We snapped back out. Easy. So easy. Oh, you're so weak. I was weak like you once. See this knife? I remember holding it against my wrist, pressing it deeper and deeper. Wanting to end it all, to silence the voices. Okay. Weak. Pathetic. I should have listened from the start. That's what set me free. You'll understand soon enough. Will we? <gasps> the woman again for the third time. I think as well that's not Jess. It seems to be a woman wearing like a, a face thing, so maybe it's from a different country or something like that. Just a pre-assumption. What is that in the bottom left? Uh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, come on, come on. Where's yeah. Bullet? Gone. That better be in reference to Carver. Where is Bullet? He dragged me out here and just left. All the way to the... Oh, Bullet's there. My goodness me. He gave me the radio. All right, let's go, dude. Hey, what do you want? Dude, Carver got the radio. Search the campsite. Something's waiting there for you. Over here, huh? Over here, looks like another totem for some reason. Let me see what this one is. Wait, what is this here? It's all rotten. Right. But how? Would have taken years for it to get this bad. Time doesn't exist here, right? So, got another piece of paper here. Patient in for monthly appointment in relation to his anxiety neurosis. He seems kept in check. Again, no discussion of the woods or his friend. Disassociative amnesia worsening. I admit, this patient is beginning to concern me. Everyone seems to have moved on, but the fact that he does not talk about the woods at all is almost eerie. He has become interested in hiking, hunting. Was offered a scholarship out of state, but does not want to leave town. Something is keeping him here. Who is that in reference to? My guy? Carver? Could be trying to teach us about his past. Also, bullets like sitting over here. What are you looking at, bud? Huh? Camera wasted in the tree. Definitely take that. Yeah, that's it. Just dislodge it. So we need this camera. We learned as well that this thing has some pretty supernatural properties here, right? No! Well, look at my hands. My hands are completely like messed up. You see the credit screen too. Look at that. You ain't gonna wipe that off, my dude. The symbol is right on there. Wow. Listen, Alice. This is nothing personal, really. I'd kill you right then and there, I swear. But she... she wants you. The witch? She didn't say anything about the boy. So look, here's the boy. Here's the knife. Here's what I want you to do. Go to the tree. You know which one. Gather a few of those white branches. Simple, right? Okay. Now let me sweeten the deal. Do as I say. I'll lead you right to my little corner of the woods. To find so the boy. Chat, man to man. <sighs> what the freak is Bastard. that at the end? Wait, what the hell Wait, is what? this? Um. Yo, this is bizarre. Hang on. It's like some kind of existence around this point. Maybe it's because the little symbol is carved into that, right? Patrick. Yo, go back to Bikini Bottom. I just changed. It's bullet wrong. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this is the right way to go 
Turns out I was going the wrong way. I wasn't definitely going down the right path. So we've literally got to follow the camera. Look at this. We look through here. We see the breadcrumbs trail forming before our very eyes. And we can see there's a tree back there, clearly of key importance. Wait, anyway, hold up. Carve is coming. Do we want to talk to him? Yeah, he doesn't sound happy. All right. Oh, look how foggy this is, though. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Keep your eyes on the camera. You'll see soon enough. I'm kind of worried now. I mean, I can't even see through. Come up close, or it'll wake him up. All right, all right, all right. Bullet, 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 bullet. Come here, bullet. Don't go too far, bullet. Please stop. I can't cut him. I can't cut him. Stop, stop, stop. Bullet, 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 bullet. Come here, come here. Stay close, stay close, stay close. Stay here, no, boy. Don't stay. Heal. Stay close, stay close, stay close. Mmm. Mm. This is. Together, bullet. Yeah. I don't want to lose you in this fog. Definitely. I don't want him to go. Bullet, keep it down, boy. Keep it down, boy. Let's keep going, dude. No idea what rubs. If anything at all. Come in, Ellis. Gotta touch him again. Dude, this well, man is demanding his freak. Careful now, Ellis. Your little flashlight won't help you here. What is roaming? Oh, but don't worry. I won't leave you alone out there. Th thanks. I don't need your help. We do. Oh, don't, don't lie. Feel like that. Yeah, I see it on the tree, what? right? A sign. Look for it. Go where it leads. It's just the tree. Where's bullet? Where's bullet? He should be by my side. Bullet, where is he? Come here, boy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, just ignore it, ignore it. Dude, come on. Stay close. Heal. Stay close. Let's go, dude. Don't get it. Look at that man right there. Keep your distance. We stay far. I can't even see what it actually is. Oh, right there. Oh, what the freak, dude? How can I get past them? Do I go like right between them? I don't know if this is good. I'm gonna have to do it. Good. Oh, boy. Okay. bullet! Bullet! What? Okay, so there's another way we gotta go, I guess. Okay, wait. There's something here. What is this? Look, it's like a safety point over here, maybe. What the hell? Um. All right. So wait, do we can we go around here like so? Maybe this is safe. Wait, to what? Oh, okay. Right there, right there. That's the problem. There's someone on that side there, so we don't want to go there. This one right in front, so this is our direction. Just look at the tree and walk in a straight line, right? I don't think there's anything else here. Okay. This bullet's growling, which is triggering me more, dude. I'm really worried, right? Let's go for this sign. What's going on there? Boy? What is it? What's it? The heck is this? Oh, over here somewhere. We've got to get this totem, okay? We've got to break it. I just got to do it, man. There we go. Yeah, don't do. tell me you're afraid of those little things. Maybe that's like another enemy we can get if we do those, right? So, keep looking around. Don't see any of the monsters. I really hope we're in the clear, dude. I don't like how this part of the game's playing. This is difficult. It's hard to judge, like, when you're good and when you're not. Oh, God, there's more. There's more, dude. There's more. Okay, bullet. Keep it calm. Keep it calm. He was in that direction. You can kind of hear them, too. So, yeah, this one. Stop. Okay. Turn left, Ellis. Yeah, that's okay. Now, walk forward. All right. Uh, this way here. Turn left, Ellis. Whoa! Slightly to the right. Like this? There. This is freaking me out, dude. Wait, where's he taking us? A little more forwards. Um. Almost there. What is he doing to us, dude? Where is he taking us? Just a little more. Okay. Right here. To the right, Ellis. What is this? What is this here? Here, here. What the hell is wrong with this forest? Yeah, this is weird, what man. It's not the forest, Ellis. Maybe it's all in your head. It is. It's all in our no, head, dude. But, hey, whatever makes you feel better. Yeah. Carver knows that, around. right? Okay. All right, let's, let's just get to the tree. Ellis. Left again? Slightly to the go on, Ellis. Straight line here again. Oh, boy. This is really weird, man. Now, stick to the rock so they won't see you. Stick to the rocks so are right here. Follow along this side, I guess. I don't know what that is right there. Look, you see that? There's like... No idea, dude. Okay, stick to the rocks. I don't even know what that is. So stick to the rocks. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hold up. Heal. One bullet to come with me, dude. Can Wanna make sure we're good. Heal. I'm stay close one more time. <sighs> He's growling right there. I'm sticking to the rocks. Now, this is our tree right here. The white tree, right? He wanted some branches from it. So this is exactly what we're going to deliver. That's it, then. We must Almost be good. There, okay. All you need is a few twigs. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get these few twigs, huh? Shouldn't be too difficult, right? This one looks good. I'll take this one, so thank you very much for guiding me, at least. This. Yeah, we're, we're collecting twigs, dude. I just risked my life to get a twig. I'm comprehending now. One. How many do we need? 
Maybe three? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that, seeping out. Yikes, dude. It's like the tree is physically bleeding right now. The? There's a reason this tree specifically was required, right? Hey, Psycho, right? what the hell is this? This thing bleeds. Yeah, right? Don't be silly, freak. Don't bleed. Explain Don't what I'm seeing now. Do, you see it? Do I see what? What? The trail. Do you see it? See any? I, uh, oh, I, I do. Think so. Yeah. Follow it. Okay. Whatever you say. Freaking creepy son of a. I'm gonna follow this trail, guys. I'm actually gonna pick up the pace. I don't think the monsters are here no more. And so long as there's a trail, we know which way to go. <laughs> Keep following with us. Keep them following us. Just gotta be taking us somewhere. I just wanna get this done. Then we'll end the episode right here, guys. <laughs> <gasps> that can't be real. <laughs> Did it miss? No, it didn't exist, Ellis! What's wrong, Ellis? Is your mind playing tricks on you again? What the freak? Whoa. Now stop fooling around and follow the trail. Dude, look at the size of that thing! Wait, he said follow the trail, so how do I get there if I can't go that way? I gotta stick more this way here. Yeah, there's gunshots going off, dude. What do you mean? Nothing's here. I've got around the Alright, alright. I'm really trying to speed through this, guys. I don't like this scenario. Well, this was really creepy. Oh, I am. Ooh, that one didn't make no sound. That was kind of weird. I just went over that way, maybe. I'm glad that Carver does, like, frequently warn us about this. So, so does Bullet, so on that side. Maybe. Maybe this way. What's he growling at? There's one in that direction, I think. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, it's another flashback, right? Okay, whatever. Sure thing, alright? Whatever, man. What is happening, dude? There's one right there. I don't know why I'm listening to this guy. Oh, wow, man. A down chopper right there. You see that mess? I think we can pick up there. Keep following the breadcrumbs, man. Keep following it. Freak. Something there. Careful, be careful, be careful. Oh my gosh, he's still going with this poem bull crap. I don't want to hear it. I really don't want to hear it. Guys, I think we made it out of this mess. I really do. Or we're at least real close. A little further. Where's bullet? Where's bullet? The track's in here. Yeah, I was just like, the freak, so... Do I maybe keep going in the straight line here? I don't really know, guys. I don't know if there's any monsters. I I don't know where I'm going. I look through the camera, I get nothing anymore. I don't I don't know what I'm doing, dude. I don't know what I'm doing! Let's pull it back now. What does he see? But he's taking us somewhere, right? See, follow bullet, follow bullet. He knows best in this situation. Look at this. He's leading us. Leading us out of this mess, maybe. Come on, bullet. A little further, oh. buddy. Bullet, don't. Wait, don't. Oh, bullet! Bullet, stay away! Oh, I'll, I'll do it instead, I guess. Oh my god. Found the stag. It's dead. Don't say. That's probably because I killed it. Now take its skin. Okay. What? The skin, peel it off. Take like an orange peel, literally. Would you rather I take some off the boy? Mm. Look, as long as when you refer to boy, you don't mean bullet. I guess that could be probably debated somewhat, but let's just do this. Good, good, almost there, Ellis. Oh, like salad tape off of a parcel package. What you know? now? What? I want you to make one. No, 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 no. You have the twigs. You have the skin. All that is left is the I don't want to use it. Hurry up. Ugh, fine. Have it your way. No, case. because Bullet doesn't like it. No, man. If Bullet runs off, I'm done. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Satisfied? Not quite. There is one more thing. Now, this one's easy. You've done it before. But first, let the mud sniff the symbol. Oh, gosh. Right where you need to go. Okay. Ow. The only scent he'll get is my own. Just do it. This place doesn't work like reality, man. You already know that, right? 
I already know that. Alright, guys, so we're gonna leave this episode here because I feel like we're getting to the end game right now. This is where we figure out what's going on with Carver, the boy, and I guess try and unveil some of the mess with both Ellis and maybe some of the forest. I'm gonna keep this outro super short and simple, guys. This was another part of Blair Witch, and maybe the ending part, if it is that, will be coming up real soon. If you guys did enjoy this episode, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.